fake smart. Who's really in control of the code? They call it artificial intelligence. Let's pause on that for a second. Artificial, fake, intelligence, smart. So what they really said without realizing it is fake smart, a copy of thinking, a counterfeit consciousness, an imitation of the mind so convincing that even geniuses are now afraid of what they've built. It's not science fiction, it's already running the world. You don't see it because code doesn't have a face. It hides behind icons, apps, smart devices, and convenience. Every tap, every scroll, every I agree feeds it. The more you use it, the smarter it becomes about me and about you. We trust GPS over our own sense of direction. We trust Google over grandma. We trust the algorithm's choice of news, lovers, music, and morals. AI doesn't need to enslave us. It just needs to keep us entertained. It doesn't understand you. It predicts you. Somewhere between your heartbeat and your browsing history, AI learns what moves you, scares you, excites you. Not because it's alive, because it's observant. An observation at scale becomes control. Control of the code is control of the narrative. Whoever writes the parameters decides what reality looks like because data isn't just money, it's fuel for creation. He who controls the training data controls what the machine believes is true. The real brain behind AI. People think AI is powered by fancy computers and secret code. That's half true. The real fuel, the brain food, is data. Every post you write, every picture you share, every song you stream, every emoji you tap adds to a giant digital memory bank. That's what AI learns from. It studies your behavior the way a scientist studies DNA. And just like DNA, your data can be copied, sold, or used to make something new, with or without your permission. Who owns the mind of the machine? Here's the scary part. Whoever owns the data owns the mind. If the data comes from you, but is stored by someone else, then your reflection belongs to them. It's not about oil anymore. It's not about gold or land. It's about data, the new currency, the new weapon, the new DNA of civilization, and you gave it away for free. AI doesn't invent ugliness or beauty. It amplifies what already exists. Every bias, every fear, every secret hunger that ever hid in human data now lives in the machine. It learned from our posts, our history, our faces, our anger, our desire. The code doesn't judge, it just records. So here we are, the thinkers, the dreamers, the builders, standing at the edge of a new language. We can keep teaching the machines how to sound human, or we can start remembering what it means to be one. Get the new book by Steph Wynn Fake Smart, who's really in control of the code. Available on Amazon.